Hello, welcome to Dinosaurs A to Z, where we start through the alphabet and explore the extraordinary world of dinosaurs. I'm Dr. Victoria Edgerton, Eli Lilly and Company, extraordinary scientist in residence at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. And I'm your guide for Dinosaurs A to Z. Today, our featured dinosaur is Iguanodon for the letter I. Iguanodon is an early Cretaceous herbivorous dinosaur that belongs to a group of dinosaurs called the ornithopods, or the birdfoot dinosaurs. Ornithopods also include hadrosaur dinosaurs like Edmontosaurus and Hypacrosaurus. They all share a similar characteristic of walking on two legs at least some of the time, and they all have three-toed feet similar to a bird. But Iguanodon's hands are definitely different. They had very unusual thumbs in that their thumbs are spikes instead of normal thumbs. Now, why do you think Iguanodons had this thumb spike? Well, we don't really know, but it could have been used for protection against predators, or maybe it was useful to dig up plants so that they could eat their roots. Maybe even it was to protect their territory from other Iguanodons. Iguanodon was one of the first dinosaurs ever named, and it was one of the three dinosaurs originally used to define Dinosauria by Sir Richard Owen in 1841. But Iguanodon was found long before then. The first Iguanodon tooth was found in the 1820s by Mary Ann Mantell in a gravel driveway. Her husband, Gideon Mantell, was a keen fossil collector and located the quarry where the gravel was from. There, he found more teeth and some bone. Mantell showed his new discoveries to some of the leading scientists of his day, and many dismissed these finds. But one scientist said that the teeth looked like teeth from an iguana, albeit a really big iguana. Mantell decided to name this new discovery Iguanodon, meaning iguana tooth. Iguanodon was among the first dinosaurs to be reconstructed, and you can still visit these sculptures in London today. They were sculpted by Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins and unveiled in 1842 in the Crystal Palace in London. These sculptures show Iguanodon looking like an oversized fat iguana, nothing like our reconstructions today. But at the time, they only had a few teeth and bones, so they did the best they could with the little information they had. It wasn't until nearly 30 years later when the first full Iguanodon skeleton was found that scientists were able to have a better idea of what they actually look like. Since then, Iguanodon has undergone some major transformations. As we learn more about animals living today and animals from the past, we continue to tweak our interpretation of what dinosaurs may have looked like. This is why dinosaur reconstructions that your teachers grew up with may look quite a bit different from what we think dinosaurs look like today. Iguanodon was an incredible dinosaur with a fascinating history. There are over 20 other dinosaurs that start with the letter I. Which one will be your favorite? 